What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today we are going to be talking about a couple things regarding Operation Dark Divide for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now the event is supposed to take place starting this Monday, September the 23rd, so tomorrow, but we did get a teaser of what's to come for Blackout Battle Royale. So Treyarch updated their profile picture today to this image of the cargo location and as you can see clear as day there is a tank so it does look like tanks are going to be coming to Blackout. But my main concern though is hopefully they won't be insanely strong and hard to destroy. But still, maybe they can do an insane amount of damage because let's be honest, most of the vehicles in Blackout that are supposed to be offensive, like the boat with the machine gun or the ARAV, aren't really that powerful. So like I said, hopefully they aren't insanely strong but still do a pretty decent amount of damage. Plus you can also see in the very back of the image a player who's up in the air. Now I'm not sure if maybe this player is using like a grab hook and then manage to get up high in the air possibly or maybe there will be some kind of an item that you can pick up that will allow us to have double jumping similar to Black Ops 3. Maybe this has something to do with the superheroes versus villains theme of Operation Dark Divide. Who knows? Um, but maybe this could be like a new perk that will allow us to obtain a boost jumping feature. I don't know but still very very cool. A lot of people are kind of opposed to this because there is a negativity to the double jumping feature in Call of Duty but for Black Ops Battle Royale, I think like an LTM for this wouldn't be all that bad because if you don't like it, then you can go play a regular core game mode of Blackout Battle Royale. So, um, like I said, not opposed to this, and I think it could be very, very cool, but I'm not sure if it's just like the image happened to capture this player who's up in the air jumping or was using the grappling hook. I don't know. I guess tomorrow is when we will get some more answers, but let me know what you think about this down below in the comments because a lot of people are kind of upset about double jumping. It shouldn't make its way into multi players so I don't know if everyone's upset because they're thinking that it will but yeah let me know what you think about this in the comments also one of the new weapons that we are possibly going to be getting tomorrow is the VMP because as pointed out by Josh Wu Cool in the background of the Dark Divide promo artwork we can see at the top left corner a character holding the VMP submachine gun but unfortunately I don't think there will be any way for us to get this weapon for free unless we get lucky in supply drops which is kind of upsetting to me because I know I'll never ever get this weapon like I just have too many unlockables and the VMP is one of my favorite SMGs in the Black Ops universe so yeah kind of a huge punch in the gut to realize at the same time um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to keep you guys updated with a few things of what's to come for Black Ops 4 as we start wrapping up the Modern Warfare beta um, you guys may also notice that the Black Ops 4 logo on the PlayStation 4 got a bit of an update to match the Dark Divide theme plus there is a new intro when you load the game that kind of teases the trailer for the operation which again should be coming out tomorrow afternoon so um please send me thoughts about this down below in the comments guys and drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later